What's going on, y'all? I want to give you my review of the TC Helicon Go Vocal. This is a mobile preamp that allows you to connect external microphones to your mobile devices, your smartphones, tablets, laptops. And I picked one up because I'm going to start doing TikTok videos showing off the plugins that I used and signal chains that I used on vocals and tracks for mixes that I've done that have been released. And I just didn't, I wasn't happy with the audio that I was getting and it's because I was using the internal microphone in my phone. And so I wanted to find a way that I can use an external microphone into my phone. And that's why I ended up uh, picking this up. Uh, so let's take a closer look at it. So here is the Go Vocal. Uh, very small, very portable, and very easy to use. So you connect your microphone here, and then this connection will go to your headphone jack. And if you don't have a headphone jack on your device, and you'll need an adapter. Now, I got mine refurbished from Amazon, and it did not include a lightning adapter. But I see on Sweetwater that it says that it includes a lightning adapter. It's really not a big deal for me because I don't have a iPhone. I have a headphone jack on my iPad, so I really don't need it. So it's not a big deal, but that is just one thing to point out that you know, Sweetwater does mention that it comes with a lightning adapter. But this goes to your headphone jack, connect your mic into here. On this side, we've got off, on, and 48 volts. So off obviously powers, uh, turns it off. On is what you would use for dynamic mics and then 48 volts if you're using a condenser mic. And then you have your gain wheel here. Uh, this is powered by a 9 volt battery. I will say what I don't like so far is that the gain, I wish there would have been some markings on here. Just a on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 10 or just or whatever. Just to let you know how far you are in the gain, which would just help for repeatable settings. Uh, on the top here, you've got your headphone output as well. So you can monitor your, you can monitor yourself through here and your monitoring would come from whatever uh, device. So for example, if I have this connected to my iPad, the more I turn up the volume on the iPad, the more headphone gain I'm going to get. All right, so let's take a listen to how this uh, sounds now. I've recorded just myself giving some product description into the uh, Mic Tech Mio here, into the iPad, into Capture, uh, Presonus Capture, which I sent to Studio One. Uh, so let's check that out. Okay, so like I said, here's the vocal that I recorded with the Go Vocal, and I used the Mic Tech Mio. I have not tried this preamp with any of my studio microphones just because I don't feel that that's what people would use in using this product. So this is my, I recorded this with my Mic Tech Mio. It's a $100 USB condenser uh, microphone. So I read some of the product description from the uh, Sweetwater site and here it is. Want to record your voice when you're on the go? All you need is a microphone and TC Helicon Go Vocal. This portable microphone preamp plugs into your smart device or laptop and integrates seamlessly with TC Helicon mobile apps as well as a slew of iOS apps and software. Benefit from a convenient headphone output along with a 48 volt phantom power for your condenser microphones. Okay, so my thoughts on how this sounds, uh, I hear a little bit of noise coming from the preamp and I think that it sounds okay and I had to quickly realize that I can't compare this to studio preamps that I use I mean, this is a $35 preamp that's meant for mobile devices so when I think of that you know, I don't think that anyone's going to try to get a, a studio ready vocal out of this I do think that it sounds good for a $35 preamp though but just you know overall it sounds okay to me. Uh, is that a deal breaker? You know, I'd say no. I mean, you can you know judge for yourself on what you're hearing here. But for the functionality that this provides, I think outweighs the sound quality that I'm hearing, which again isn't bad, a very usable. But if 
yeah, I feel that most people will use this to record maybe some scratch vocals on the go or, you know, something like that. Um, you know, if you're using that, I think this is very capable of doing that. Get your ideas down using, you know, an external microphone and then later you can go to the studio and, you know, record it for real. So in terms of portability as well, I think that this is good because this can pretty much fit in your pocket. And I have a a PreSonus audio box i2 that works with iPad and you know it requires some setup to get it going well by setup I mean cables multiple cables I got to you know connect the cable to the iPad connect the cable to uh, the power adapter and all this this is something that just fits in your palm of your hand and just takes you know one connection for the mic one connection into your headphone jack and you know plug your headphones in and and you're up and rolling so it definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me as far as portability. And, you know, the only real complaint I have is that I wish that the gain was numbered uh, so you can, you know, have repeatable settings for yourself and to know kind of where you are on the gain, which thinking about that now, it, that would be nice. But, I mean, you can you know, see your levels in what you're recording in as well. But, I would still like to see some numbered uh, gain on there. Uh, but this is, I mean, it's a $35 preamp. I paid $26 for mine off Amazon. I got it refurbished. I think at the time I saw, I think Guitar Center headed for like $30. So $30 to $35, uh, you can pick this up. So one thing I want to point out that I forgot to say is that this has 52 dB of gain. And just to show you what it's like when it's on, uh, so this is off. And that's on. You'll see the TC Helicon uh, logo light up. And then once you turn on Phantom Power, you'll see the red light coming on, indicating that you have Phantom Power. And, uh, you know, any questions, comments, let me know. And I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, where we discuss pro audio and beyond. We discuss everything from recording to gear to the music business. So if you're an audio engineer, songwriter, recording artist, music producer, this podcast is for you. We recently started season two and we're going to have a lot of listener questions on this season as well as some really cool guests that's lined up and giveaways as well. So if you've already subscribed and followed the podcast, thank you. If you haven't, it's available on all platforms and I encourage you to check it out. Also rate it and review it and let us know what you think.